Thank you for joining me, Krista, with Imagine That Scrapbooks and Gifts for our ITTV Presents Try It Out Thursdays, week number 26. That's right, we're halfway through a year, so make sure you leave a comment if you would like to see us continue with our ITTV. We thought we would give it a try for six months. If you are enjoying these videos, make sure you leave a comment. You can do that either on Facebook or on YouTube. In order to leave the comment on YouTube, however, you do have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know what you think of these videos and if you'd like us to continue them on. All right, for this week's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this fun card using Spellbinder size. And as most of you can tell, I normally do the um, video recording and everything in my home studio, but I decided to do this one here at our store so you can see our lovely selection of Spellbinders dies right behind me. This is just one of our walls of Spellbinders dies. Lots of great variety, lots of great items, so make sure you come check them out. But before we get started on making this card, I do need to pick a winner from last week's ITTV Presents. And our week number 25 winner is... Miss Martha Patterson, if you'll email us at imagine that scrapbook, imagine that scrapbooks at yahoo.com, we'll make sure we get your prize out to you. And if you would like to be a winner, make sure you leave a comment. And if you would like for us to continue on with ITTV Presents, try it out Thursdays, make sure we hear your feedback. All right, guys, let's get started on making this card. Hey, everybody. So for today's card, what we're going to be using is our Spellbinders Grand Caliber. Now, the Spellbinders Grand Caliber is a manual die cutting machine. It's one of my favorites, I use it, if I said every day, that's probably pretty accurate. Um, so does Mary and Artemida, they're both addicted to this machine. It's a great die cutting machine. It is a manual die cut machine, meaning that it does take manual dies. It's not electronic, so you don't need a computer or plug-in or things like that. Um, I've actually had a lot of requests to do a couple of videos, or a lot of videos, I guess I should say, using the Spellbinders Grand Caliber, especially since Imagine That gave away 24 Grand Caliber machines for National Scrapbook Day. That's correct. Everybody that attended National Scrapbook Day 2014 with Stacy Karen with Spellbinders received a free Grand Caliber courtesy of Imagine That. So here you go for you guys that have requested these videos. And if you don't have a Grand Caliber yet, they are amazing tools. And if you have one, we hope you're enjoying playing with them. All right, so let's get started on this card. So for this video, what I'm going to be doing is doing kind of a basic die cutting technique just to kind of get everybody's feet wet. Whether you have the machine and you need a refresher or you don't have the machine and you have no idea what we're talking about. So here's our machine. This is what you're going to need. We are going to be using a Spellbinders die, which is a triple functioning die. Most of their dies are what we call a triple functioning. There are some of them that do have more functions than that. Uh, this one here is going to cut, emboss, and stencil. You can do any one of those by themselves, or you can combine all three of those or two of three. Several of their new dies do also um, have a deboss section, so it's going to give you two layers of embossing. So basically those have four functions. This one here is one of their triple functioning dies. So this is what we're going to be using. Now Spellbinders was the leader in the industry in some of the most innovative products. They were the first machine out on the market with their first machine, the Wizard, that allowed you to use any manufacturer's dies in their machine and their dies were able to be used in anybody else's machines. It used to be that if you wanted machine A, then only machine A's dies would work in that machine. If you wanted machine B's dies, then you'd have to buy machine B as well. Well, Spellbinders came out, of course, with their first machine, the Wizard, that allowed it to be universal. Now that is kind of an industry standard, but we do applaud uh, Spellbinders for leading the industry in that new technology. All right, so enough of me yakking, let's get started. We are going to be using this really, really pretty leaf uh, scalloped uh, square here. Apparently, I don't know my shapes. I need to get my four-year-old in here to tell me. And we are going to make what we call in the die cutting world our sandwich. We're going to start with our base plate here. Normally, you do not want to cut into your base plate. You can see where we've had a little oopsies or boo-boos where we've cut into it. That's okay. It's not going to hurt the integrity of it. You just really don't want to continually cut through it. Our die has two sides, of course. This bumpy side here where you can actually fill the ridges, that's what's going to cut. That's what we're going to call your cut side. This here is a smooth finish. That's going to be our flat side. And we're going to always put that side toward our base plate. 
Some of you like to cut with your base plate down, that's what I do. Uh, we do know some people that like to cut with their cutting plate so they do everything backwards. But for the ease of this video, I'm gonna do it the way I like it, which is like this. Okay, so we have our base plate, which is labeled for us. So if you guys are asking, how do I know what my base plate is? It says base plate, good to go. All right, we're gonna put our die. Well, with this intricate of a die cut, there is a trick. We're gonna put down some wax paper, okay? And then we're gonna put down our pattern paper. You don't have to do this wax paper step. I just find it a little bit easier when I have an intricate die to get that die out of, or the paper out of the die. Then we're going to do our cut plate. Now mine does not say cut plate anymore. You can see where it said it in that corner. It's no longer there because I've used this. I have had this Spellbinders Grand Caliber machine since probably shortly after they came out with it about four years ago. I have yet to replace my plates. So I know many of you guys ask, well, how frequently do you need to change plates? Uh, it's going to take a lot of cutting before you have to replace your plates. I do use my machine a lot more than the average person since I am using these in almost all of our classes and I use my machine on a daily basis. Okay, so again, sandwich, base plate, die, wax paper, which you don't have to do, that's an optional step, paper, cut plate. Then what we're going to do is these machines do have a suction bottom. We're going to suction this to our table, which is going to keep it from wiggling as much. We are going to feed it through. There is a little tray here to help you guide it. I never pull mine out, but you can if you want to. And then we're just going to send our sandwich through the die cut machine. Now, you can or possibly will hear some cracking and popping. You are not hurting the machine. That is the die cutting through your paper and your cut plate. That is okay. So I don't want you to freak out. Okay, we're gonna take our die cut apart. And now here I have my die cut. Now I'm not gonna to touch anything at this point because now I want to use it and emboss. So with your machine, you do get all of the plates needed with the exception of one additional plate. It's the raspberry plate we're not using today so I'm not even going to go into that but you have your polymer rubber mat we're going to lay that down and then we are going to take our embossing plate which is this one right here now we're going to send that through our machine and this step here is embossing that die cut okay so we're going to do it the exact same way now there are smaller plates called the junior plates when you have small dies like this that you can use I just ha don't have a set here with me, so I'm just using my regular plates. Okay, so now we're going to take this apart and reveal my die underneath. So let me move this machine real quick so we can get to the next part of the video. Okay, and I have my nonstick craft mat um, out of the way because you cannot suction the Spellbinders Grand Caliber machine to a nonstick craft mat because the nonstick craft mat slides. Okay, so moving on. Now here's where the wax paper really comes in handy. If I didn't have the wax paper in here because of the machine die cutting this intricate die, it's going to push that paper deep into it. It's a little trick I learned. Now I'm going to use my Spellbinders tool in one. This is an awesome, awesome tool. If you have any die cut machine and use any flat dies, you really need this little tool, it's awesome. So I'm going to take the spatula part of it and I'm just going to slide it across the inside of my die. And what's that, what that is doing for me is separating the paper from the die so I'm not having to try to pull. If you just try to pull it, you could end up with a torn die cut. I'm just trying to see if I have one over here and I don't. But see how easy that came apart? Look at that. Awesome. Now it makes it super easy to clean. I don't have big enough hands to hold the dies like this, so I normally set it on something, but you're just going to take the bristle part of this brush and just go all the way around. And because you have that wax paper in there, it really helps clean it out a lot easier and faster than if you did it. Now if you have a couple little stubborn pieces in there, this is where this tool really comes in handy. We're going to separate the base right here. There's our little paper piercer. Pull down, pull out your spatula, put your spatula away so you don't ever lose it. Push down, pop that in there, and now you have a paper piercer. So if you've got a stubborn piece, you can poke them out, just like so. 
Okay? All right, so let's go on to constructing our card. Let me move these little leaves away. Now, some of you don't like to get rid of anything. This would make great fall confetti. All right, so let's move those off to the side and build our card. So I have my pieces cut here, and we're just going to start constructing. The coupon code for this week is Spellbinders. Again, the coupon code is Spellbinders. Make sure that you come in and check out all of our fabulous Spellbinders dies. We do have in stock over 200 different dies, so come check them out. Lots of varieties. Okay, so now I'm going to use this just as a little frame. I think I'm going to do it in that corner there with this cute little tag. And I probably shouldn't have laid that down, so we're going to lift that back up a little. Oh, that's okay if we decide to cha or change our mind, so I'll stick that wax paper there so it doesn't go back down. And I've got some Zots handy if I can grab them. There they are. Okay. This is just a fun little trinket by Bow Bunny. I love their little trinket pieces. We're going to stick some metal glue under it so it stays in place. Now you don't have to do this step. I want to make sure it stays. Nothing worse than a card coming apart or glue not coming out. There we go. Okay. And then we're just going to zot this other piece on this end and then lay the whole thing back down again. Remember I said I cheat when I do this stuff. I don't measure or do the full wrap around. Okay. Now I'm going to slide my frame down in there. Now this is where you could stencil because anywhere that there was an opening it's going to allow you to stencil those pieces which is really neat. You can do it with inks or um, glimmer mist, tattered angels, any of those particular items do work really well on that stencil part. Okay, now we're just going to add a few little trinkets and we're going to be done. How easy was this card? And look at the amazing effect that we got just by doing some die cuts. So a few little trinkets here or there. Oh, we don't want our scarecrow upside down. That may not be good. And a little metal flower. All right, and there you go. A quick card using a Spellbinders Grand Halber and Spellbinders dies.